All right, what's up, YouTube? So, everybody been wanting me to make a video on how to do a snorkel. So this is gonna be for any 300s or 350s. I'm not sure about the newer 350s, but from uh, 03 and down, and for the same for a Honda 300. Right now, it's been a little while since I made a video on the bike, so it's on the 30s right now. And I'm about to take off this right here, do a gear reduction, going with a 60% and new clutches. But anyway, let's get to the video. So it's gonna be pretty fucking messy under here. Just bear with me. That's all for the freaking speakers. So for this, you want to get an inch and a half pull hose and silicone the fuck out of it on the outside of the box after you slide it in. Silicone the outside of the seal where the seal's at all the way around, nice and good. And this thing fits in there fucking like perfect. You should have to like shove it a little bit and it should go right, right in. And what people mess up on with pull hose is so you got this right here, try to get it to where you can see. This right here where the pull hose is at to where it goes in this coupling. You wanna caulk the fuck out that bitch with silicone on the inside of this. Fill all this up with silicone all the way around. And that's what people mess up on with the pull hose. And then you wanna put your heat tape. I painted it just to make it look a little better than what it was. Put your heat tape because it's pretty close to the uh top end and then just run it wherever you want if you want it on the side or the center i went with the center i made me a little homemade bracket this is where my old bracket was at and it broke like a hundred times so i said fuck that and i just did a piece of flat bar and two other pieces of flat bar cut them in half just welded them on both sides and Zip tied, it doesn't fucking move at all. Now, for the main part. So this is the aftermarket carb. Take this shit off here. Take this shit off. So, let me see. So here's your first vent. It's gonna be right here. You look at the bike like this. Right here on the left side. Is it gonna run up to here? And you got this Y pose right here. Put you a nice clip on there. And then this is where you're gonna run it to get to the snorkel. I put a clip and I put silicone around it. That's for this. That's for that vent. And then you got the other vent on the other side, same spot. Runs to the same pose. And then you have your two. You got one here and then one right there. I just put zip ties on them. That just goes, that just feeds back into the carb. So that's two, three, four, but it's two that's running up to the snorkel. All right. And then I'll also silicone around where the intake is at. Silicone, all that shit. I mean, where the carb is at, my bad, not the intake. Where the carb is at. And then, go down here. This is your overflow. Like the main part to snorkeling a carbureted bike. This is your over overflow right here. What you do, cut off a little piece of uh, vent line. And this one, I just have stuff with silicone. You can put a bolt, whatever, as long as that thing is sealed off. And then for the crank, just a normal stock crank. Silicone to piss out the outside and on the inside. Whatever you silicone on the outside, do the same for the inside of the air box. Silicone your pull rope, because you can get water in the motor like that. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. This is an inch and a half pull hose inch and a half and yeah that's pretty much it 
And make sure you do your vent for your gas. Make sure it's on there good. Your two diffs, front and back. Uh, so yeah, we got front diff, rear diff, gas, two going into one for the carb. So yeah, that's uh, that's everything for the carb that you need to know. And I've never had a problem with it. The only problem that I'm having right now is I keep getting water in the oil. But I mean, it has nothing to do with the snorkel. It's some kind of seal that's fucked up. I got a fucking mosquito or something. Some kind of seal that's messed up on my bike. I got to figure it out because it's pretty, it's pretty bad. But as of right now, I uh, got a new top end coming in. I'm going with a 480, like a bore over 480. And then we're going to go with the 60% gear reduction from Reduction Boss and their clutches and stiffer springs they got. Because my clutches are completely gone after fucking running these 30s. But we'll be ripping them things here soon. We got a GoPro coming for the channel. We're about to get lit, man. I'm about to shake this thing back big time. I might go with a different color for the racks. See, so y'all let me know what color I should go with. But that's everything for the video, man. I appreciate it. Drop a like.